throughout this series, I have covered a lot of hats that I said were the most infamous or the most famous hats in the entire catalog. And while for the most part, I do still believe that the Dominus series is the most famous hat series of all time, and the Valkyrie Helm series is the most infamous of all time, there is one series of accessories that I believe bridges the gap between famous and infamous. A series that embodies both the good and bad, controversy and reverence, developer and trader. This series is universal to the upper echelon of the Roblox community and is synonymous with fame and wealth. Only the top, top traders and the top, top developers can wear these status symbols, and only they can get their hands on the clockwork shades. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how could I miss the headphones? Now, hang on. That's next time. Because there's like 20, and I don't want to cover that many. So I figured I might as well give each category their own special video. So without further ado, let's begin. Now there are two distinct iterations of the original Clockwork Shades. There are just Shades, which were given out to very early administrators of the Roblox website way back in 2008. Ironically enough, with this item being so famous, the original pair of Shades were made by Clockwork for Clockwork, and really no one else. However, they were given out to the administrators for seemingly no reason at all. The Roblox community being what it is, caught on to the hype around these shades and wanted a pair that everybody could own. So around one year later in June of 2009, Roblox decided to clone the mesh and publish it as Clockwork Shades. They originally sold for 19,358 Robux, which is the same number as Clockwork's player ID. These shades absolutely popped off and gained extreme fame and notoriety almost immediately. Being so expensive, only the best of the best developers at the time were able to get their hands on it. This, on top of being a part of many famous developers' outfits today, means that it even has higher demand than ever before. Bad CC, Tay Master, and tons of other high-profile developers wear these shades to show their status. I mean, yeah, it certainly is a great way to show that you're rich. Slish, I'll girl with my hip skin. Oh wait, sorry, let me fix that. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Work Clock Shades. Not only do they have an opposite name, but they're also completely opposite color-wise. These were a huge part of the Memorial Day sales that Roblox used to do back in the day. We kind of got a taste of one of these when Roblox was releasing a ton of limiteds last week. However, neither the work clock shades nor the work clock headphones were brought back this year. In fact, neither the shades nor the headphones have been on sale since 2019, which sucks, but you know. These shades cost 10,000 Robux when they were available for purchase, and only 6,000 of them were ever sold, which is surprising. I mean, considering how 10,000 Robux is a lot less expensive than 10,000 Robux back in 2009, I would imagine that more than 6,000 people would have bought them, but oh well. The next few shades were all from gifts, starting with the Adorite shades. Yeah, remember these? These were given out through gifts meant to go to the top 100 grossing DevX users of 2015. However, not every dev got one, as there were four potential gifts that you could have received. They either got Adorite, Sparkle Time, Bombastic, or Wanwood gifts. This Otterite gift contained the Otterite shades. The same goes for the other four shades, including the Bombastic, Sparkle Time, and Wanwood shades. Lots of people want all of these shades to become limited items, as Roblox has been releasing more and more old items as limiteds themselves. However, I would have to disagree with this wish, as these shades were earned not through the wonky trading system, but hard, hard work. Roblox was a smaller platform back in 2015, so being able to earn these shades back then is quite a feat. I personally think that developers who earned these shades should keep them, not because I don't want others to be able to have them, but more so that they can have a unique item that shows their dedication to Roblox. And then we have a really weird item, the 8-bit clockwork shades. Oh, hey AVGN, uh, what's your opinion on the 8-bit uh, clockwork shades. 64 bits. Oh, okay, no, the 8-bit ones. 32 bits. No, the 8-bit. 16 bits. No, 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 8-bit. 8 bits. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That, yeah, those ones, those ones. 4 oh, okay. bits, we, 2 we bits, did the 8 1 bit, bit ones. Stop. half Stop. bit, quarter Stop. bit! Stop. These were a part of the summer sale that Roblox had back in 2016, and they cost 8,888 Robux. 
Considering the fact that only 320 of these items were ever sold tells me that they weren't available for very long. I remember seeing these shades in the catalog for sale, but not having enough to buy them. Now, granted, they don't look very good, but I think this could be a real contender for the next limited item that Roblox is going to push out. And then finally, we have the meta shades. Yes, cringe and shiver at the word meta. These Sparkle Time knockoffs were part of the Ready Player 2 event that Roblox held in conjunction with their stupid metaverse thing. All you had to do was find the seven relics hidden within the game to unlock it, similar to the Valkyrie of the Metaverse. Originally, Roblox was only going to allow the first 77 people who collected all the relics to own these shades, but later decided that, you know, just let everybody get them. And this, in my opinion, is so dumb. Why couldn't we just have them be super rare for the heck of it? I mean, I think that would have made the event much more interesting. And then, Roblox can make them limited just like the other Clockwork Shades, right? Come on, not only would have that been really cool, but it would have also made the Metaverse thing a little less hated. At least for me. And, yeah, that's it. That's all the Clockwork Shades. I, I know that's really short, um, but yeah. Personally, I think that splitting this episode up into two uh, different episodes with one being kind of shorter and one being very long is a good idea. So stay tuned next time when we go over the clockwork headphones. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this little mini episode of Twisted History. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.